हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट सेवन ऑफ द इकोलॉजी एंड इवोल्यूशन सीरीज ऑफ गेट एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मोस्टली फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द गेट इकोलॉजी एंड इवोल्यूशन पेपर सो इफ यू हैवन चेक द प्रीवियस लेसन यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एन एल्ट्रूस्ट प्रोवाइड्स हेल्प वर्थ टेन यूनिट्स ऑफ फिटनेस टू ए रेसिपेंट एट अ पर्सनल कॉस्ट ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑफ फिटनेस एंड एज पर द किन सिलेक्शन थ्योरी द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ जेनेटिक रिलेटेडनेस बिटवीन द एक्टर्स एंड द रेसिपियंट्स दैट इज नेसेसरी टू मेंटेन द एल्ट्रिज्म इन द पॉपुलेशन इज हाउ मच सो हियर मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल नॉट बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस टर्म दैट इज एल्ट्रिज्म एल्ट्रूस्ट किन सिलेक्शन थ्योरी सो आई विल टेल यू इन वेरी ब्रीफ नॉलेज दैट यू शुड नो एल्ट्रूस्ट इज एक्चुअली थियोरिटिकली a person who helps other for their happiness and others welfare unselfishly so it is the opposite of egoistic word that is altruist so here in mostly biologically if it is seen it is mostly present in the parenting nature how because a parent always wants to help the children in order to make them happy and for their welfare so this behavior is mostly seen in case of parenting and what is this keen selection theory keen selection means it is coming from the relation that is keen relationship so what is this keen relationship keen relationships are the relationship which are mostly blood relationship or the relationship which happens due to marriage so these are because of keen selection theory keen relationship so why this is related that means if somebody is linked blood with the help of blood with the link of blood so father mother son daughter or through the marriage then they are having the tendency to help others for the others happiness and welfare unselfishly so without any ego so here also we have to solve this question by keeping all this concept in mind to understand this we should read the question again the question says an altruist that means the person who is giving happiness or welfare so according to this theory what it is telling that genetically some genes are controlling this behavior that is the altruist behavior so here in this case the altruist provide help worth 10 unit of fitness to a recipient so the help or the care is measured in this unit that is unit of fitness to a recipient that means to its relative or it can be blood relative or married relative so it gives 10 units of fitness at a personal cost of 1 unit of fitness that means he or she is sacrificing his own sacrificing his own fitness of one value but providing 10 units of fitness to the opposite partner that is recipient so the question is asking so in this case what will be the genetic relatedness between the actors that means those who are acting those who are sharing the help that through genetically and the recipients those are receiving so what is the genetic relatedness how much they are genetically related so to calculate this there is a formula and you should know all these things all these terms we should know from this slide so first of all let's start with the genetic relatedness so genetic relatedness according to the formula this formula which we are going to calculate is denoted as small r so here we have to find that thing only and the help or the benefit which is gained by the recipient is denoted as capital b so it can be number of offspring equivalents that's the help or benefit which is gained by the recipient so who is receiving next is the cost so how much the donor is suffering by sharing the fitness the unit of fitness how much he or she is losing that is the cost which is denoted by capital c and all these thing this formula is controlled by the hamilton's rule and what does this rule says this rule says small r into capital b should be always greater than c yes so here small r capital b and capital c we have known we have discussed or small r multiplied by capital b is equal to c so that's the formula which we are going to use here to find the small r because we have the capital b we have the capital c yes how we are having capital b capital b means what capital b means help or benefit received or gained by the recipient so here it is given that the recipient is gaining 10 units that means that value of b capital b will be 10 and here c will be what so c will be equal to 1 c is what the cost how much the donor is suffering or losing that is one given over here that is one unit of fitness as you can see personal cost so here small r into capital b in, is equal to c will be small r is equal to 0.1 so how we got 0.10 that means if we are solving here 
you will get the value that small r is equal to 0 0.10 and here that will be the answer that is the genetic relatedness between the actors and the recipients is 0 0.10 and if you go back and see in the option so option number a will be the correct option so i hope you are able to understand this so note down this formula it will be very important and try to know the concept behind that so if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section let's move to the next question so this question came in the gate 2014 examination in the ecology and evolution paper and here the question was to find the matching triplet yes in the first column it was given the species name and the species were having different characteristics some were invasive keystone endemic and exotic given in the column two the species name were given and the three was given the characteristic feature of that plant or of that species so here First of all, we'll know, we'll solve one by one. That's the main thing which we should go and proceed for any question. First is given invasive species. So invasive species means everyone, you all will be knowing most of us that Lantana camera is the invasive species. So one will match with Q definitely. Then we will see this Lantana camera is having the dispersal through what? Wind, bat or ant or bird. So here you should know here that you should ha be having some knowledge that these berries of Lantana camera they are attracted by the frugivorous birds and mammals. So what are these frugivorous birds and animals? The animals or birds which are feeding on the fruit. So these are dispersed by the birds because they are attracted towards the berries of Lantana camera. So invasive species Lantana camera and bird dispersed fruit present in the Lantana camera will match. So option number B will be the correct matching of this triplet 1, Q and 4. No need to go for second, third and fourth option in this case. But if you are not finding the correct match, then you should look into other options. So let's move to the next question. The next question may look very difficult, but it is very, very easy if we are knowing the concept, if we know the basics. So let us read the question first. So here the figure panel shows below the population growth in two species. And here when they grow alone and when they are growing together, two, three graphs are given over here. So by analyzing the nature of the growth curves, what one can infer about the relationship between these two species we have to identify whether it is a mutualism, predator prey, commensalism or competition. So I will give you some time to analyze these three graphs and think about the answer. So I guess that's the enough time to analyze this because this is a very simple question. Here in first graph we can see when species 1 alone is growing or it is present in that particular habitat so as the time increases the population size is also increasing but it is under the 100 value that is the population size so species 2 alone also if it is growing alone if it is staying alone without any intervention of species 1 then it is also growing and the population size increases and it is also around 100 mark in the y-axis but when they both the species are living together species 1 and 2 so species 1 is denoted as dotted line as you can see from the first graph and species 2 denoted as the dark line which is the solid line as in given the second graph so when these two are present you can see as the time increases the population size increases lot more so it is not in this 100 region so it is beyond 400 region that is the population size given in the y-axis so both the population is increasing when both are staying together so what is this giving us an idea so this is giving that this is a mutualism that means when they together are living they are growing more they are living more freely and if they are living alone they are, they are not having that population increase in population size so this is very easy questions don't think these are difficult and leave this kind of question just have to analyze for certain second and if your basics are clear you will be able to get good marks and this is two mark question so you should not get worried by looking at these graphs because whenever we see graphs we will be thinking that this is very difficult question so as you can see they are very easy questions and here we have discussed three questions but here you can know that how easy these questions are how can we solve with the help of fundamentals and basics so you will definitely crack this gate exam don't worry and try to solve these kind of questions more and more i'll try to provide more questions in the next video